Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video about loot boxes, collections, and weapon variants, and why they're important in Call of Duty World War II in ways that you might not have realised. So, I've just called in a loot box, and you get loot boxes in lots of different ways just by playing the game, by doing orders, and I'll share that in a minute, um, or doing contract. And you'll open a loot box, and you'll get something like this. We get a calling card. Great, we get some weapon XP, uh, sorry, uh, soldier XP, which is great. And then I've got a duplicate which will turn into like uh, in-game uh, armory credit. So let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of that. So why why does it matter? Because you're probably saying, well, apart from the XP boosts, everything else is cosmetic, and that, of course, is true. One of the beauties at the moment with Call of Duty Bubble Two is that anything you get from a loot box is cosmetic, but what you do get are those cards and uniforms and those cosmetics which lead you to get better weapons but not better weapons in terms of better on, better on the battlefield because they're just cosmetically different but they give you bigger boosts let me let me show you so if we look at my soldier and we look at my infantry division we'll see ooh, airborne sorry we'll see that uh, if I look at my weapons, I could choose the PPSH, normal, really nice submachine gun, but I have unlocked the Thrive, which is a uh, an epic P variant on the PPSH. All the stats are exactly the same. Shoots the same, same distance, all that sort of stuff. But as you can see, it has a special booster for XP. So while I'm using that weapon, the kills give me a 10% soldier XP bonus, which means you can level up through the game faster. Right, which other ones have I got at the moment? Um, I think I've got one. All right, I've got the M I've got one of the M1903, which I can't unlock because I uh, prestiged. And I've got some others. So the way that you can kind of get these is through loot boxes, but mainly through unlocking collections. So if we go round here and we have a talk with the uh, young lady Welcome in the the quartermaster, if we look at the uh, collections, you can see here that for lots of different weapons, we then have all these. Um, calling cards and cosmetics that lead up to us unlocking the weapon. So let's look at one that I've, I've unlocked. There you go, there's the Thrive. So as you can see, it's a version of the PPSH and I have unlocked all the things for it. There's a, a uniform, calling card, um, an emote, various pistol camos and different camos and different things like that. But by getting them all, I've ended up with the Thrive, which is you know a really nice version of the PPSH. And so what you can do with these other ones, say this, say I really liked, let's see a gun. I really liked like the STG 44. That's probably a bad example because nothing's there. Let's have a look. The 1911 pistol, the carabine. Here we go. Say I wanted the special boat service uniform. I see now we won't use that one because that's a M1 Grand. The M1 Grand is a really nice weapon to use, alright? Uh, in order to unlock the epic version, the rookie version, I've got to unlock uh, all the stuff here. So we've got rookie, uh, sorry, uh, the bleeders, which is a uniform. Uh, I've already got that uniform. I've got to unlock that pistol and that calling card. Now, these three things here, the uniform, the uh, pistol camo and the calling card I can get from supply drops but I could buy them if you look in the top right hand corner you'll see my armory credits there 6346 I've got um, so I haven't got enough but I could unlock the pistol and I could unlock the calling card so if, for example I say right let's unlock that calling card I spend my money so now I've only got two things to get and once I've unlocked those I'll then get the rookie and then with the rookie when I'm using it and I'm making kills, I get a 10% soldier XP bonus while I'm using it, which is really cool, isn't it, that way? So, the way that you can get um, sort of the armory credits to buy this stuff or to earn rare supply drops or any sorts of supply drops is you can, one of the ways is you can do contracts with this young lady. And what do you do is you spend some armory credits 
um, and then you're given a challenge. So for example, let's choose one with a, say I wanted to get a rare supply drop. What I do is I could kill, give this young lady 225 armory credits and if I get 55 kills in the war game mode, I get a rare supply drop. So it's like a bit of a, it is a little bit of gambling, isn't it, with that. Um, or if you've got any COD points, which are the ones you buy with real money, which I wouldn't recommend you do, you can actually buy um, supply drops themselves. Thanks. Another really cool thing you can do, obviously, is always go to the mail and log in. And every four hours, I think, you get your credits. I think, do you get 100 uh, armory credits, I think? But they do add up, and if you log in every day, you'll get um, bonuses. And if you go and see Major Howard, you can get your orders. So for at the moment, I'm trying to get three weekly orders. And so if I get uh, this one here, if I win 25 matches of any game mode, I'll get a rare supply drop. If I get 500 kills, I'll get a rare supply drop. And if I get 25 kills in a team death match, that might be a bit tricky, that one. But you never know. If I have a really good match, I might get that. I've got a whole week to have a go. I'll get a rare supply drop. Or you get the daily orders as well. And they're all variations. Sometimes you get a supply drop. Sometimes you get some armory credits. Sometimes you get... Um, social bonuses and that sort of thing. So there we go. That is why supply drops are important because they allow you to unlock items from the collections, which then give you access to weapons. Ooh, there we go. Transport stuff for us too. That'd be cool. Which then give you access to weapons, which will give you XP bonuses as you're simply playing the game. That have to do anything else? Isn't that cool? Anyway. They're also fun to open as well. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me. Hopefully it's given you a little insight into maybe helping you level up a little bit faster in Call of Duty World War II. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more time, press subscribe. And I will see you again soon.